all day. Money, power, respect. Three the hard way. What up, world? Welcome back to Three the Hard Way TV. Y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button. Y'all got any questions for us? The email as well as the phone number is below on today's show. We got the beautiful Rhonda. We got the beautiful Bree. Ken, my man is back, lady. He is still single. A boy, Not Boone right now. Watson, Not is right in now. the building. You ain't single no more. The last life? time he was in a relationship, why you he got a fans only now. Like so you know how I oh, and he has a fans only now. My brother, well, only fans. Only fans. You already know what it my is. My brother, real is here. The triple OG, Derek, my uncle is here as well. And ladies, you know who I am. On today's show. <laughs> We will be discussing. <laughs> you still need rapper Lil Boosie is, has recently made the new the news, and he he is in the news because he said he got his two sons, which are minors, some head so they can get the experience. And you know, so we what's got the real two, age of them? Right now, I think they thirteen and thirteen. 15. Uh, yeah, one of them, uh, like 16. 16, 16 I think it's 13. Nah, and 16. They, were, they were both under 16, 15, actually. Right, at, the, at the time, because this is something that happened three years ago, but it's just resurfaced now because he spoke on it, you know, almost three years ago. So we're going to go okay. right to the two mothers. Um, Rhonda, how do you feel on this, um, you know, be, being a mother? Because we're going to all speak from a father's perspective. But as a mother, how would you feel if, if your uh, son's father took him out, got him some sloppy toppy, some dome, some neck? What? <laughs> <laughs> first, first of all, when I heard this, off, uh, I, I always listen to uh, The Breakfast Club. So I'm when they plan to record and I'm listening to this 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 idiot because he's an idiot. He I mean, and he's so proud of it. But you I mean, I'm proud no. of it. No, no. And how old was the kids again? What were the My age? They was under sixteen. So yeah, they, 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 they probably they, they probably was at they, the time. They, they probably was like they, they probably was like nine to thirteen. Some, they was at an age where they can get some head. Come on, no. man. <laughs> Go ahead, Rhonda. Um, no, that's that. Yeah. That right there is the unacceptable. I mean, that's that's very unacceptable. You know. Wow. Have, oh. Why do you mom, feel so? No, I mean it's not an appropriate age to like. I mean, not not that way. Not that way. I, I'm not. No, not that way. Tell us why not. Why not? Yeah. I mean, let a father give permission for his son, a uh, woman to give. First of all, first, <laughs> what she give? I don't, you know what? Because it was kind of touching to me when I'd heard that, because it was just like, where's the, first of all, where's the mom at? Why is she allowing this? And I just think that just, I'm speechless because I, 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 I haven't thought about it, really. Okay, we we gonna come back to you. Whatever you yeah. got, whatever you got next. Yeah. Bree, go ahead. Can my boy Khalid get some head right now? Yeah, <laughs> boy. Yeah, uh, boy. I know. You know what? <laughs> my thing is, I know coming to being a preteen and a teenager, you know, there is there is a promiscuous stage, there is a peer pressure stage and things of that nature. Now, mm -hmm. if kids decide to partake in those mm -hmm. antics and activities with someone of their age range, then that's one thing. But I'm not going to deliberately go out and find somebody and it, it, it becomes a bother because I feel like at that point a kid's innocence has definitely been robbed yeah, and exactly. I just want to know the intelligence of that woman to actually perform oral sex on a child like nothing about a kid turns me on at all and I just think that either you're just a sick individual or you're just uh, a scarecrow of a bitch to 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 go and give brain and not have one. So, no, I will 
y'all will be doing a three to hard way TV and my new name will be motherfucking Kara Baskins if I ever catch a grown woman's mouth on my motherfucking 15 year old you best believe it cause I'm killing shit Oh, he needs a man. He's he tripping. No! <laughs> not from okay. no grown ass woman. Now, no. not to sound, not it's to sound. What? And this is just from my parents. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let please. you finish. Please, that's but all I have. At the same time, I got a that's question all for I'm every at. nigga on the panel. That's I got all a question I'm for at. every nigga on the panel. I, I, I'm, I'm muting him. <laughs> please, thank you. Thank you. So, and that's just me from speaking from a parenting stage. I know, you know, as growing up as young men, it's like, okay, the quicker you start fucking, the quicker, you know, you become some sort of men mentality and all of that. I get that. And I don't want to sound like a contradictory because I'm not going to lie. At 15, I was dating someone well exceeded of my age, but that was something that I chose right. to partake in. I never, right. my mama or my daddy never set up and said, hey, this 22 year old digging you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you need to go and bust that cherry, so let me go and put you in the game. That never was the plan. Now, when I chose to, when I felt comfortable enough to start having sex, yeah. I didn't want no high school boy. I wanted a nigga that could do something for me, and I ain't talking about just buy me lunch. So, yeah, I did start fucking a grown-ass man. I did at 15, but that's what I chose to do. But as a parent, I feel like that's very disgusting. I feel like that is set up molestation and uh from a parent standpoint again i'm gonna stress that from a parent standpoint because i i too had an r kelly in my life that i wouldn't take back so i'm not gonna be hypocritical and say that these type of things gonna go on and what should be okay for a woman to do versus what a boy to do i'm not gonna say that because to me it's all molestation if the child was put in a position to get harmed and that's just and as parents our job is to protect our child at all fucking cost so okay. that's my take all on right. it. my boy no Ken. Kalik ain't getting no head from no go ahead, Ken, the bro. older bitches Ken you, you got, have a son yeah uh, uh I got a, a question though. How uh, what's the ages of his kids? Uh, I missed the story. Huh? It was like they were like twelve and thirteen, or twelve and fourteen, something like that. They were young. He got the kids some head. They was in he, grandma school. He, put it like that. He got the kids some head school. or whatever the case may be, and but, and they tripping on them now. What's the ages though? They were like nine, one was twelve 13. at the time. One was one was thirteen. One was fifteen. So we we all go sit here. Hey, hey, Dion. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold on. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to do yeah. with your ass. Nah, hold on. Hey, hold on. Get to the question first, Ken. I'm going to go around. Say all that. Say, I, asked, I asked to say it because I asked to age it because honestly, I feel like. If they was 13 and older, you know, they don't see no wrong with it. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, Ken, you got a question? Yeah, I got a question. I asked that age because honestly, you know, they're older than 13. I don't, I, don't see, I, don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Me personally, I started being sexually active at 13. So I asked the ages, you know what I'm saying? And, and my big cousins, you know, I ain't gonna say no names, but you know, was uh following their footsteps, you know, they made it possible for me to experience, you know, but I don't know. It, but as a parent though. As a parent, ain't no because cousin. Son, your cousins ain't your parents. My son seven is a parent. Yeah, I feel something is wrong with it. You know, I don't agree okay. with it. But I'm 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 kind of it's it's a toss up between the two. I'm just gonna be honest, you know. I'm throwing it out there. It's a toss up between the two. Okay. So um, my boy Boo, Derek gone. Derek gone. Go Derek. Derek gone. All right. Well, man, well, man, this one. 
<laughs> well, I got a 15 year old son, man. So, um, and I think as me having a 15 year old son, I'm really protected over him because you know that's my legacy, that's my seed. But um, you know, I know when when his mama first contacted me and told me, you know, what I'm saying that he, you know, he was having sexual relations, you know, what I'm saying so. You know, I had mixed feelings about it, and I had to sit down and talk to him about why well, you using protection, you know. And he's like, yeah, and I'm, I use a condom. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, you know, who taught you how to use a condom? He's like, me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, on, on one side, you know, you kind of like, okay, cool. But on the other side of my consciousness, I felt like he was too young to be trying to, uh, and I guess this had to be, Right when he was like 13, 14, so, but I still felt like he was too young to be exposed to uh, certain sexual behaviors, you know what I'm saying? Even though he told me, because I asked him, well, how old uh, are these girls that you're dealing with? He said it was his age, you know what I'm saying? But as a father, I don't think, uh, I, I don't think it's appropriate, or I don't think it's my place or to intentionally go out there and say, okay, you know, come on with me, son, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that, you know, some woman, uh, do whatever with you. You kind of follow me. So I wouldn't intentionally go out to purchase no uh, women because all I'm doing is really setting him up to be a trick. Period. Kind of so I'm just setting my son up to be a trick uh, because the money is there. So now, now we know that he is going to experiment. He's probably going to have uh, um, oral sex, annual sex, vaginal sex at a particularly young age, but as a father, you know, I, I wouldn't, um, I, I can't see myself actually taking my son with me doing that. Does that make okay. sense to everybody? Okay. Definitely does. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm going to go next. We're going to save you for last, Boo Watson. Me, personally, <laughs> I didn't see a problem with it. I saw, I saw no problem with Boosie getting his boy some head. And, and now, Boosie is living a different lifestyle than we live in. He rich. He living in the mansion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he is a public figure. Uh, his kids probably been on the road. They've been to countries that, hell, I probably won't go to as a grown man. So his children are experiencing, like, the, the rate of their life is moving at a much faster pace than a normal child's life and you know boosie is a single man so they probably seeing their father with all type of plethora of different women so at that age 10 11 12 13 your sexual you know your your sense of uh wanting to flirt with sexuality starts coming into your head whether you a girl or a boy you start wanting to watch porn you start wanting to pick up on certain little things and if his Boys came to him and said, Dad, I want some top. <laughs> but and, we and, don't know that. Now, oh, now okay. we're wrong hypothetical. Okay, okay. Even, right. if, even if he said, I'm going to get my boys some head, I don't have a problem with it. Because they're not mm -hmm. living the same life. My, my, I got a 15-year-old, a 13-year-old, a 12-year-old son. His boys not living the same life my mm -hmm. teenage boys living. He could. They but he ain't. It doesn't well, matter. It don't matter. What's the difference? You you make the right. to go pay a bitch to say, hey, come break my shorty off. How you know how you know that just wasn't one of his regular weekend chicks? I don't well, give a damn where he got the, the face from. The I point mean, is you're saying that because he's of some celebrity stature and his and he's in a different pay market that he he is exempt to certain shit. It's more easily accessible. I give you that. But as far as them saying that, oh, because that's what they are around, that's what they promote. Like I said, at the end of the day, that should not subside who you are as a person. I don't give a fuck if you P. Diddy. At the end of the day, you shine combs to those fucking kids. And it's just as well as Boosie is. You you are that person to the kid. All that shit goes out the window when you're becoming a parent. What was your question for me, Derek? I mean, I'm just saying that if his kids had skills, why they couldn't go get some head on their own? 
<laughs> and let's say <laughs> all one step and go around. And let's first let, of all, uh, what what type what parent what are he teaching his boys to be like gentlemen? Like this how you this how you treat a woman? This what Instagram for a thousand dollars. I mean, Go, go ahead, Boo Watson. Boo Watson, the floor is yours. You have, you have. Uh, I, I, I'll go you out have and waited it. patiently, my man. I'll yep. go last. Yep. Hey, when, when y'all was talking about this shit at first, I said, "Bro, I'm gonna wait." And I got a question for y'all, all the men on this panel. Give your opinion now, first, I, then your question second. No, no, well, no, 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 no. Look, I hung around you, Dion. Bro, I hung around uh, you. Dion, I hung around you, Marvin, when we was 15, 16 years old. Would you allow yourself to get some motherfucking head? Yeah. Is yeah. Is, is that 15 year old me and the 30 year old? Hey, look, I don't know if you remember. Do you remember the chick that lived next door to me on Gladys, the older chick? <laughs> She yeah. she stayed trying to knock me down, bro. Only reason why she's a child. Only Lester. reason why Lester, you right. got, only but Lester, why you have a Lester. Lester. You are Antoine Fisher, really? boy. The hey, look, the only reason why so you you question, <laughs> that was the question that I had for everybody, every man on this panel. You Derek, you Derek, you Kenneth, you Derek, you Kenneth. When you was 15 years old. And you was on the block hanging with your homies. Would you allow yourself to get some hair, bro? I mean, no. when, I, when I was 15, brother, I was very exceptional. So yeah, see, everybody was. Like, if it, no, on you asked me the question, brother. I'm going to respond to you. When I was 15, I was exceptional. So we're talking about a different time. So you know, you know goddammit, not only goddammit, but I'm going to allow myself to get some hair. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay, Ken. <laughs> but again, the, the Ken, thing of the Ken matter is, is you a parent. Don't give your, give your question to Ken. He didn't hear you. Answer your question, Ken, from here. Ken. So I can go. So, so, at, 15, at 15, Ken, would you accept some, would you accept some head? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, of course, I just said I was sexually active at 13, so why wouldn't I? But, exactly. But I, I want to say this. I want to say this. As a father, I'd rather educate, I'd rather educate and, and show exactly. my son the right way. No. It's the decent out here, bro. Lord. Hold Lord. on, let me It's a it. decent don't way to do that. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let let finish. Don't ask me no question. Let, Yo, let me explain. <laughs> I'd rather educate myself and show my son the proper way uh, engaging in sexual activities than him learning the on his own. I, I did it on my own. I, I watched y'all. You know what I'm saying? I did it on my own. If if, if I'm if I'm willing to educate my my son and let him know, like, bro, this is the proper way to to to, to do things because you do have you have predators out here, you have creeps hey. out here that will take advantage of young girls I'm, or young boys. I'm glad so, you said that. So, I'm glad so you said that. If if, so, if I'm finish. willing. I, I was 13, and, and and I don't know if Dion remember this, but I lost my virginity to a 20 year old. I, you, I think you tried to come with my auntie house too. And I think I I uh I uh I locked you out of some hey. while I told my auntie. But you know who I'm talking about, the babysitter. So yeah. if these hey. predators out here, you know what I'm saying, or you know that prey on young young boys, or bro, of course I'm gonna educate my son. Like that's why okay. I can do this for ages. Me, I don't see nothing wrong with what he did. Nothing at all. Okay. But why mm -hmm. you never answer the question? My my, my thing is, like what he was just saying, he said it to the T. That's not the question, though. Would you, your son, yeah. my would son you get, get your some son head? Some head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these motherfucking faggots walking around here, goddamn, you hear me? Man, yeah, my son gonna get some motherfucking hair from a woman. You hear me? A woman. You hear me? So, so you think okay. that age is appropriate for your uh, for your kid hey. to get? Hit? Hey, 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 hey! I don't. Know. This is my first time. No disrespect. This is my first time meeting you. But like with all the dumb shit going on out here in the world, sweetheart. 
Like, you rather know that your son is out here trying to get some head from a woman than some goof ass nigga out here catfishing them. And I, I'm like, like for real, for real. <laughs> like, 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 man, get that boy. Well, I don't pussy. think like I mean. Get that, no, for real. Like, <laughs> well, you have to understand. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I'm a nurturer. I don't think I, like I that. I, I mean, hey, I don't. Hey, I don't I'm not a man. Well, I'm, 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 I'm not, not a man. man. Hey, Dion, get the point out hey, Mother is not thinking about her son getting his thing thing sucked off. I'm just, I'm just he's saying. He's thinking about it. He's thinking I, well, about it. Well, I don't. If he gets, I, okay. I, he probably is. is but Hold I don't know his mama not. Okay. Hold go, the go ahead. You done? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Right. So, okay. Since everybody wants to put my business out in the streets, like I was fucking at ten and shit, but. At, at, now the question is, uh, what what we feel about Boosie thing, right? I really personally I don't care because he could do what he want to do with his kids. His kids, that shit ain't none of my business. Whatever he want to do, he could do. Now I'm gonna answer the question for myself personally at the age I am now and the the mental state that I'm in right now. First of all, I got a son and I got a daughter. I wouldn't do the same. I would. Which if you won't do it to your daughter, why the fuck would you do it to your son? Right? You ain't gonna go get your daughter some goddamn head. Right? So why would you get your son? Now, like Derek was saying, if they out there doing it on their own, that's a different story. But you bring it exactly. to them. Now, what if your son ain't ready at that age? Now, let's say the age 12, 13. Your son ain't ready. Think of the psychological effects it's gonna have on him, right? And some yes. people gonna say, some people gonna say, oh no, no, it ain't. And let me point, let me paint yes, the picture. Yes, it will. Yeah. He's gonna turn paint, gay at that hold point. Hold on, hold on. Let me paint the picture for you. You can get your son here from a woman at 13, he could still end up being gay. Here come from exactly. women. And then on mm -hmm. top of that, right? From somebody who started sex way too early, probably, and then get the guidance or whatever. I grew up disrespecting women. I wasn't respecting them. I was just fucking That's everybody. What I didn't give a fuck, leaving babies over here and shit, right? Because my mental state was fucked up. Like, I didn't, having sex at 12 and 11 and shit, I didn't really care about them women. So I grew up like, hey, I can just have sex with whoever I want to. So just mentally, if you got a son 13 who really not ready for that life, and then you bring him into that life and say, hey, I'm going to get you some head, you can fuck that boy up mentally, and it could backfire on you trying to say, oh, he might be gay. He might despise women after that and say, <clears throat> Oh, when I was 13, they forced some women to give me head. So I really don't care what Boosie's doing. But as a parent of, of a girl and a son, I'm not going to get my son head because I damn sure wouldn't do it to my daughter. So like you say, if they out there doing it, they out there doing it. But as a parent, to bring that to your child, it seemed cool because we got a double standard in our neighborhood for men and women. It seemed cool on this call for us to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But realistically, which one of y'all will go out there and get a 25-year-old woman to come suck your son's dick at fucking 13? No, you ain't. No, you ain't. You're ignorant. No. Why you ain't that? I'm a bitch. Right, right. So he said that. Okay, saying, hold on. Why you, you saying, ain't that check? Hold on, look. You saying it because it sounds good. But look, I know your sons. And you know them, so you know they ain't ready. So that's what I'm saying. If you expose okay. them to that, they'll be like, okay. you know what I'm saying? But see... So as a he, parent, you, you, you don't think you know his kids? They might. What, how you don't know his kids? Listen, listen, listen. What you think on a 13 year old? Hold on, listen. What, listen. You, think, at, at, what you think on a 13 year old, 14 year old TikTok? What you think on a 14 year old? That's what I said. That's what I said. If y'all kids they watching out there, freaky shit, mute him. I told y'all don't interrupt me. When, when y'all, if y'all kid out there doing it, that's cool. <laughs> That's cool. If my son going out there doing it on his own, and, and I find out that's cool, but I'm not finna go be like, oh, give me some hair, right? And then he come in here and tell his sister, and your daughter come to you talking about, I want some hair too. <laughs> so, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so, exactly. So, like, realistically, You gotta pay man, both like, the fields, man. It, it, parenting is a crazy thing. Like I say, little Boosie, whatever he want to do, he can do with his kids. I know what I'm not doing my kids. I don't care... What age I start having sex at? Nobody brought no woman to me at 11 and was like, fuck her. You know what I'm saying? It was just Period. me being, hey, look, I'm going to do it. So now, okay, now, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a prime example. Ken, Ken's younger brother. Hey, I don't think I won't shoot that child on some regular shit, though. 
<laughs> kids, <laughs> like Al studies mute me, bro. I told y'all, <laughs> like, that up there, bro. It's the point across because when y'all ask a question in the middle of talking, you forget your train of thought. Now you're trying to answer two questions. Hey, now, Ken's younger brother, he used to hang with me. You know, I used to bring him outside. He was a little guy and he was fucking 16 years old. I'll bring him outside with me. Don't let him come about. outside. Let him hang out with me, right? And then at the age of 16, 17, I can't remember which one it was, right? I got him some pussy. I got him some pussy to, for his virginity, right? He's 17 years old. But the woman was like twice his age. Hey, but he wasn't 13. He was 17. So, so you're so a human they... trafficker. You're a human I... trafficker. <laughs> That's <laughs> Dion. Hey, you're a human cool. trafficker. That's cool if he was 17. Really, Dion. He won 13. He like was 17. Guy. I mean, he's right. God, though. He's Human God. Human trafficking. He's God. Right. He's God. What? He's God. So if What's he was 17. Huh? Go ahead. What did uh, you pay? Man. I ain't paying nothing. But he's Go God. Ahead, she just... So why, what 17 year old boy want their first experience to be with a 34 year old ass woman? He's God. You fucked that nigga hey, up. That's the same thing. What he like he, exactly. You fucked him up. You fucked he talk, him up. He talk about it to this day. And he probably hey. running around with crusty ass women right now. Hey, exactly. Hey, Derek, yeah. imagine, imagine this. Imagine this. Your, your, son, your son in there playing the game. He's 12, 13. Your son in there, he a nerdy ass kid playing the game in seventh grade. Here you come. Put the game down. Get this head. You don't fuck this boy mental state up. Not, not with don't, no regular. I mean, I'm not gonna do it with no regular ass 34 year old ass woman anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah, but I know, I know, like so he, he, he needs to experience something hey. with his own age range. But no. I'm not gonna, I'm no, not gonna, I'm good. not gonna try to introduce my son to no young girl anyway. But I'm not gonna take him to no old ass woman. You know what I'm saying? When he within his youth to experience some shit like that. Some shit that a thousand yeah. motherfuckers didn't have. Well, right. My thing that's is, that's is that was almost drunk. my thing okay. is, what's the difference? What's the difference than some than a parent going to grab another grown person to have sex with their kid versus somebody turning their kids out to be because they want to trick off for drugs? What's the fucking difference? Everybody will find something wrong with that. Because when people are on the drugs, they're not in their right mind. Right, but it's still a trick is a trick. They're going to do whatever it is to do for a trick. But at the same time, you're still a parent. Drugs are no motherfucking drugs because I know there's a lot of functional crack addicts that has yet to even sell their motherfucking kids. Now, however they get their money to get their rocks off, that's what they do. Because everybody that's on drugs don't don't sell out their kids. Trust me. But every motherfucker mother that don't do what I'm saying is the analogy that I'm giving is only what is the difference. Just like Marvin said, I'm not the same thing. Oh, it's macho, macho when it comes to a to a male child, but that will be no such thing. You ain't never finna go grab no 34 year old for your 17 year old daughter to go rock the fuck exactly. out. Exactly. You're not doing it. Exactly. Exactly. You're not doing it. Hey, exactly. You know, you know, You're not, not doing fair. it. So what is the and, difference? And, uh, what is again, the like difference? Said, what I'm at? Again, it's, What's like the I said, being like, biased. You're being very biased. What Lil Boosie do with his kids is, is, is his own business. But he got no, to be... And he don't he got, got it all anyway. anyway. No, I'm saying, right. He got that business. He ain't he got, got it all anyway. anyway. His mental state got to be messed up. But you didn't he messed that, up, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. motherfucker got 42 How much you think kids your kids? and 32 baby mamas. Of course his mental state is fucked up. <laughs> so he's exactly. not. He know he don't right know where he lay his dick. He right don't now, fuck okay. where he lay his dick. And half the time, if he would have laid his dick in somebody else's mouth, them two kids he would have had to go get hair for, he wouldn't be trying to go find him. If his right. fucking mental state like was okay. And now so even, you so, and then the nothing right. Exactly. And not even teaching them about what you can get catching stuff you're not even teaching them about the sexual <clears throat> behavior about what you can get from going out there just slinging your penis everywhere the what education that behind it. At 12 it's, 13 that start with an eight uh, it's just more uh more you know, like, come on. to be put into your child at 13 and i know exactly. got a, uh, he got a fear of uh of his sons being gay i know that 
So he could have been doing that's, it that's, like that's that. That's his problem. Prevent it. That's what he think. But I'm on my end. Right. I know for a fact my son ain't even thirteen yet. But ain't no way in hell. Boosie's son could have been eleven. We don't really know. Okay. Or he could have been fifteen. This but, was my this was my question for you, Marlon. Now, okay. Just say your son's sixteen, going on seventeen, and he came to you and he said, "Okay, look, I'm fucking, but the girls my age don't want to suck dick. Could you get somebody to suck my dick, Dad? What would you at do?" At six, at sixteen. <laughs> He don't even know what getting his dick sucked. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him answer the question. Let him answer the question. So this is what I'm gonna tell you, my man. Listen, in my day, boy, I was a dog. I'm gonna give you this game. You got to go out there and earn that head, my boy. I ain't gonna get you no motherfucking free head. So you got to go out there and earn that. Now teach me the game, ghost. That's it. I teach you the game, but I ain't buying them. I ain't bringing them shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. It ain't happening. I ain't with 16, them. 16, 17 year old girls don't know how to suck dick. I don't know what the fuck. This 2020. I don't know what, what? they doing in 2000. Yeah, you got some grown women don't know how to do it either. Hey, 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 you ain't messing no 17 year olds right now, so you don't know. So don't tell you. you well, we'll we, we don't you. know with Dion. He bad. He out here bad shit. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, but Dion. Dion. Yeah. So, I mean, we got to be honest. So, you talking about 15, 16 year old and shit, and, and, and you, you take your son to get some head. Plus, <laughs> we have to look at the law of probability. More likely, your son gonna come to you and say, "Dad, you need some." <laughs> I got him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad! 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 My dad was there. Derek was around. We ain't never asked him, can y'all get us some head or pussy? <laughs> no, never. We didn't. That's what I'm saying. So y'all used to tell my fuck where to go get the head from. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. And let's, let's just be honest. We ran with a group of guys that wasn't even getting it. But did we ever say, hey, come here, let me get you some pussy? No, you got to go get that shit yourself. At that age, we wasn't doing it. Right. Well, so, I, I, I felt like I was obligated to get Ken Lil Brother some pussy because he was running with me, man. Oh, really? But not from a 34-year-old, really? Joe. Not from a 34-year-old. Hey, 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 Derek, Derek, Derek. She wasn't 34. She was 38. Hey, so <laughs> Ken. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm coming to join you a little bit. <laughs> this question for Ken. So, Ken, I know your son, he's seven. So, you're telling me your son get 13. You going to go get him some head? If if now he ain't gonna ask you, you go go get him some head. Oh no, <clears throat> no. But if he asks for it, whether he wish for us, his command, right? Now you gonna yeah. be like, boy, go sit your ass down and get some good grades. Exactly. Yeah. He's still in grade school. You know, hey, hold up. Shit, hey, hey. hey, look. But get that shit against the law. So then, what you gonna do? What law? <laughs> What you mean statutory with law? rape law? That's Who statutory. Who so you gonna go? What? Same motherfuckers told on R. Kelly. Exactly. <laughs> and the money ran out. So the, uh, your money long, you gonna keep them no, all. No, I'm talking about hey. R. Kelly money. I ain't got no money for that shit. So, so this uh, this this is my take on it, right? I remember talking to my son. He was coming up four, five, or something. I'm like, man, son, you know you can tell me anything. Like, Dad, remember you told me I could sit down and talk to you anything? He's like, man, I had my friend kiss. And I'm like, was she a girl? He's like, yeah, okay, that's all I need to know. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck if he gets some head or not, as long as it's from a girl and not that them he's giving no motherfucking head. So at some point, he just got to be happy and just draw the line. That's what I'm saying. He came you on his own. So it's cool. Like I say, it's cool if they're doing that on their own. And each parent, parent different. But your son ain't finna come to you and say, go give me one of them grown bras over there to give me the, your dick. It ain't happening. So I think the good thing is, none of our sons ain't gonna do that. So we ain't gotta worry about it. Boosie did that shit on his own. And, my, my and I wanna know, what made him announce it to the whole damn world? 
Actually, it's like three years old. And you breaking these babies' privacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, real. And first of all, like, that's just disgusting. Yeah, that's real. That's real. You know, that's real. That's real. 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 That's 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 real. So don't nobody, don't none of the girls on this panel suck dick. What? what? <laughs> Do you? No, 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 no. Watch, your, watch your mouth, you? sweetheart. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, sweetheart. You know, I ain't like gotta weird. watch shit. You watch yours. Don't ask yeah. questions. You I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You act like you don't want to get your son no head. You act like you don't want to no, get your son no head. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Now, what you he partake in. Are you trying to take him behind my back? Ass. That's not that's him. Ain't got no <laughs> problem. What he say? You act like you want to be me right now from a real live woman, but when a, when a faggot ass nigga in this motherfucker face, it, no, ain't no fag. You ain't got no keep him away from you. Ain't gonna be no fags in this face. You gonna be like I love my son for what he is. You hear me? Fuck out of here, man! I got time for this. No, that's why. That's why yours is definitely going out of here, man. Long as gang, I keep them at your faggot ass face, I won't even have a problem. Yeah. Well, I ain't we'll never, I ain't never did no dick or touch no dick. Yeah, that's about the story. Dick. That's the story you gonna tell on here. Stop playing with me. Stop, stop playing with, with me, bro. I'm real disrespectful on this motherfucker, bro. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. All right, little boost with you guys. Exactly. Play with me with dicks, going baby girl. No, that's what you do. That's all. Oh, what about not getting your son no head? You hear me? What you want a boy to suck his dick? I'm not. All right, all right. Fuck out here, man. So here, I'm not. You sound like a clown. You sound like Jeff on the last episode. All right, we're going to ask my question, bro. She sound like Jeff on the last episode, talking about a nigga run a uh, run a nigga and his girl. You hear me? The fuck out of well, here, man. Get that little boy to my fucking head. You hang around gay motherfuckers. All right, all right. You gonna talk about gay shit? Get the mute on both of them. Dion, can I ask my fucking question? No, I'm just saying, get that little boy some head. He's 15 years old. Get him some head. When I was Why you worried about his dick, suck. though? Why you worried about my, my son dick getting sucked? Why is that your so concern? Was, my dick that was should sucked. be none of your concern. Don't worry concern. about it, sweetheart. I you didn't put in on none of that nut to make him. Why is you concerned about his dick getting sucked? Why is that your concern? He don't mute. <laughs> All right, little Boosie. Okay, y'all. Lil Boosie got us heated on Three the Hard Way TV. Man, you hold on, man. I'm finna ask some more motherfucking money. questions. <laughs> What's question? <laughs> it ain't too many questions to fucking ask. How many more huh? we gotta ask? You froze? Hey. No, so I look, bro. Come on, man. So look. Basically, well, I ain't get a chance hey, to stop me, me, bro. We can get into it, Lord. Hello, bro. Look, so look, basically, I'm saying, Stop rooting like, me or we can get into it, too, bro. I'm King Neil, boy. I don't play none of them games. Look. Hold up. Can I ask you? All right. Get, get to it. So, look, <laughs> right. Basically, man, if my son at an age, man, at, a, at an appropriate age, I plan on educating my son around 12 or 13 on sex. I'm going to have that talk with him. But, like, if he come to me and be like, uh, man, dad, I'm, 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 I'm a sexually active and this and that, and I'm, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to feel comfortable enough to discuss the things and whatever my son asks me or whatever he feel, I'm, I'm going to feel secure and comfortable enough to let him know, like, this is what you should do. This, this is this, this is that. I'm not going to shy away from that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. When you and say that's you the same stop, thing. Gonna... And that's the same thing that I was saying. As a parent, I'm not going to deliberately go out and force sex up on my child. <coughs> now, again, like I said, I was never, I never got on here being hypocritical because yes, I was fucking at 15. I was fucking a 23-year-old at fucking 15. But that was my choice. That was not anybody else's choice. My mama didn't go get them. My daddy didn't go get them. My cousin didn't go get them. Did nobody go get them but me? And that's what I do. Yeah. 
Well, you got time for this dumb shit, bro. Your, you can fuck at 15, but your son, your son, you can fuck at 15, but your that son. That was her choice. Yeah. That's it's a difference. Right, see, he has lost the whole point. He has lost the whole point. If everybody has on here that said the same thing, they are not going deliberately going out to get nobody to have sex. You motherfuckers hypocrites. That's two different things. Hey, that is hey, two everybody, everybody got their opinion of how they feel like would how do. How the fuck you could be yeah. fucking at 15, but your son can't get no head at 15? You a hypocrite. I didn't what? say that. I did not you say saw, that, you hey, fucking clown. You, I didn't okay. fucking say that. Fifteen. All right, three to hard work TV. Fifteen, but so please end this. No please end it. You, <laughs> you a hypocrite, please bro. End <laughs> please end it. Go back. All day, money, power, respect. Three to hard way.